So once all the fences are out of the way, then access to the pier through these iron manways is possible. So here's one of the nice things about working on a big telescope. You can actually get inside the pier and mount things inside the pier. All of this stuff is safe from the vagaries of weather, especially summertime humidity, inside of these sealed enclosures and, and plastic conduits. But it's not safe from the predations of squirrels, or birds for that matter. Uh, lots of old telescope mounts are covered with bird debris of various kinds. That's not been the case here, but squirrels really caused a lot of trouble on the external cabling of this telescope. Squirrels, like most rodents, need to work their teeth constantly to keep them sharp and to keep them from overgrowing and causing real problems inside their skulls. So once a squirrel gets into a big place like this, it needs to keep busy chewing on things. Uh, as often as not, when they get into houses, they chew up the muttons and the frames of windows. Here they chewed up the wires on the scope. And I have photos that I took during that first initial survey visit that were really depressing because it, every, every unshielded wire in sight was chewed down to the bare conductors. That's not going to happen with this because all of the exterior wiring this time around is in steel jacketed conduit. So that's not going to happen again.